Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this Dollar Tree Valentine's Day heart steak. This is so easy to make, so let's get started. To begin, pick up this wooden heart from Dollar Tree and remove the twine hanger. Now I wanted to show you really quick, if you didn't want to paint this, you could use some scrapbook paper or even wrapping paper. Trace the heart out and cut that out and then either Mod Podge or use a glue stick to adhere that onto the heart and that would save the step of having to paint this. Since I am painting this, I want to cover those holes, so I'm going to use some wood filler. If you don't have wood filler, you could use just a little dab of hot glue in those holes and then sand that down. Of course, if you were going to do the scrapbook paper or the wrapping paper, you wouldn't even have to worry about covering the holes. Once I have those holes filled, I'm just going to use a little sandpaper just to sand that down. Now I'm going to apply the base coat and I'm going to be using the folk art in the color of barnwood. I am going to paint both sides. And next I'm going to apply the Waverly White Chalk Paint. The way I apply the paint is I just kind of roughly paint it on so it gives it that really kind of chippy and rustic look. And here's how it looks. Now I'm going to grab one of these craft wood dowels and paint it white from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make a cute little bow. I'm using this buffalo check ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Next I'm going to attach the wood craft dowel to the back of the heart with some hot glue. I like to apply hot glue to the sides and kind of weave it over as well. And I'm going to let that dry. And then once that is dry, I'm going to take my cute little bow and hot glue that to the bottom as well. Now I'm going to add some floral foam in the bottom of this galvanized pot. Both the floral foam and the galvanized pot is from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to pop my heart steak in the center. And then I'm going to cover the floral foam with some greenery that I had on hand from the craft store. And here it is all done. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Of course, you could use any color paint and ribbon you choose. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay notified of all of the DIYs I post. Thanks guys for watching.